There is a story about a fisherman and a wealthy businessman. The businessman came by one day and saw the fisherman sitting, just sitting by the water. This horrified him. Why aren't you out fishing? I've caught enough fish for one day, said the fisherman. Don't you know, said the businessman, that if you continued, you could earn even more money. And with that, you could buy another boat. With two boats, you could make even more money and buy better nets. Then you could catch even more fish. And pretty soon you'd have a whole fleet of boats. Then you'd be rich like me. What would I do then, asked the fisherman. Well, then you'd enjoy life. But what do you think I'm doing right now? The fisherman and me began as a young boy, spending time with my dad on his boat. My father bought his first boat in 1967, and then, when times looked good, sold that boat and bought the Miss Georgina. He's fished from Vancouver Island to the Bering Sea for herring, salmon, and halibut. Up to six crew worked aboard the Miss Georgina, my father often brought along his video camera. Our crew changed from year to year, but the core group of men fished with him for much of their careers. That's my dad, Basil Menzies, Basil to his friends. This halibut trip is just one of the many we made in the Miss Georgina in the late 1980s and early 1990s. I've grown up working with my father. That's me, carrying a skate of halibut gear. At 10, I joined him on the boat. At 16, I earned the right to a full crew share. There's an appeal to fishing. There's an allure to the ocean that pulls us in. Each time is a new beginning, a new chance. We never know what will come up on the hook. It's as though we are collectively holding our breath, waiting for that first fish. Hard work, backbreaking, at times tedious. But fishing is more than just a job, it's a way of life.